At a bus stop under the brutal southwest Texas sun, a sense of relief for this group of Haitian migrants. My dream is, like you know that, to live a better life. Mackis and Viard spent a week camped out under the International Bridge in Del Rio, Texas, before he was released into the United States with his wife, who is seven months pregnant. A young girl like me cannot realize my dream at Haiti. While some are being deported back to Haiti or sent to detention centers, Others have been released here in Del Rio, despite the Biden administration's insistence that the thousands waiting in the camp would face immediate expulsion. Right now, it's, it's not clear how they are being processed. We're extremely concerned about that. The criteria of those being allowed to stay and those who have been deported is still very much unknown. Although the ones we have seen for the most part being released here in Del Rio are couples who are pregnant and those with small children. Si vienen con su pareja, hay que quedarse juntos. At the Val Verde Humanitarian Border Coalition Wednesday, a steady stream of migrants were being dropped off after being processed out of the camp. CBP now directly uh, processes at the bridge and those vans are bringing them directly from the bridge. This NGO, the only one assisting migrants here in Del Rio, is feeling overwhelmed. There'll be a point when the numbers are so high that we just, we just work with what we can in this moment right now. Drone video shows the population of the camp, which stood at more than 14,000 over the weekend, continues to decrease. But U.S. officials have declined to say how many have been released into the U.S. I feel very free now and I'm very, very contented. I'm very happy. Many of these migrants will get on buses bound for family members living across the country, where immigration court dates have already been scheduled for some. I'm stuck a better day. But with his dream of living in the United States realized, Viard still takes nothing for granted. I don't know how it's going to be tomorrow, but now I'm feeling ready. I'm feeling lucky. In Del Rio, Texas, Sarah Blake Morgan, The Associated Press.